Next, let's open up more properties. And in our wall creation here, under wall architectural, I want to bring your attention over to this side where it says base constraints here and base offset at zero. And under this, this current default setting, there is this top constraint here at second story. So we're going to try to draw a wall using these constraints. And then we just to illustrate my point to you later on. So we just draw a wall here at 3 meters. And next, while keeping the command alive, maintaining this command, we're going to change this one to say 3 to the third story. And then we draw another line here. And with this, we are going to open up elevation 1-A. So when we open this one up, you will realize that the earlier part of the wall that we have created here, okay, I'm, going to, I'm going to just use the shortcut key WT to show you the plan view. Here and the elevation view here. So notice when I select this, it illustrates this view as well. These two items here. If you notice, this is one of the very powerful feature in Revit. There's a lot of uh, links to this with this constraint. So in an event that when the levels are changed, you notice that the walls would actually follow that as well, up or down, and up or down, as long as the constraints are maintained. For example, if I select this wall here, you notice that the top constraint is actually up to the third story. As long as this is maintained, and when the levels are changed, the wall height will remain the same also. It will have it will change according to the to the level changes as well. Next, I'm going to touch on the next part of the wall properties. So let me just expand this a little bit and let's go to the wall architectural command again. And from here, let's try to create any, just any straight wall here, this way. And you'll notice that when we select this wall here, there is an indication of what kind of wall it is. In this case, this is a basic wall, 200 mm thick brick wall, plus 20 mm thick plaster. We can't really see much at this point because our, okay, let's deselect this. And now see that our view detail level has been set to core. So we can change this one with this drop down list here, or we can click on this detail level core. This button here where my mouse is, course medium fine. So once I've changed this one to let's say fine. You will find that there will be a lot more details coming up. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw another wall here, this way. And I will be able to select this wall and go into the property here and select another type of wall. For example, the 300 mm RC wall here. And notice the wall display would be different. Compared to another one that I'm going to draw now, let's say here, and I'm just going to go here and change this to external masonry brick here. This one, and you notice that they all look different here. 
so there's actually a lot of settings that we can interact with as we're drawing walls. We have our shapes up on the modified tab, and we have a variety of settings to control the height and the composition of the wall on both the type selector and the properties palette. So I encourage you to spend a bit more time in this file, playing around and getting comfortable with how walls work. Because as we said at the start of the clip, walls are really the most basic component of any Revit project.